what is going on guys this is prodigy and today we are going to be doing the very first episode of a new series i will be trying to do um i don't really know exactly what to call it yet but um for the purpose of this video we're gonna leave it nameless but we're going to be talking in depth about the stats of the scar h assault rifle in player unknowns battlegrounds so i'm gonna cover you uh, guys, the statistics of the weapons, the strengths and weaknesses of the weapons, and just give you an overall idea of how the weapon works and what I think of it. So, to start off, let's start with the actual stats that the weapon has. So, if you throw it up on the screen here, you'll see the base damage of the weapon is 37 damage per shot. And keep in mind, every person in the game has a base uh, health pool of 100 points, 100 health points. So, three shots with this weapon will kill anybody assuming they have no armor on so the base damage is 37 it has a range of 55 meters before the damage starts to drop off a little bit and it has a total fire rate of 50 uh, i'm sorry 71 rounds per minute now we're going to start moving into the multipliers when people start having you know different levels of armor and helmets on so like I said, with no armor, the weapon will deal 37 uh, damage to the body. But if somebody has a level 1 vest on and you shoot them in that vest, it will deal 34 damage. If we go up to level 2, it will deal 31.5 damage. And up to level 3, it will only deal 26 damage. Now, over to the helmets, if they you shoot somebody in the head and they have no helmet on, they're going to die. It's a three times multiplier on all headshots. That goes with every single weapon in the game. Whatever the base damage is, multiply that by three. That's how much damage you'll be dealing with a headshot. So, if we move on to a level one helmet, you will do 74 damage. So, it won't one-shot them in the head. So, uh, make sure you always pick up a helmet if you want to avoid getting insta-killed. All right, That is a very crucial thing you want to have in this game. Uh, level 2 helmet will deal 55.5 damage. And level 3 helmet will drop it all the way down to 37 damage, which is just the base damage of the gun anyway. Uh, this is pretty much identical to all the other assault rifles aside from the AKM which we'll cover in another video but overall this is one of my uh, favorite guns to use in the game it can e go either single fire or full auto mode and it just feels like one of the easier to use weapons in the game it feels the uh, one of the most consistent and it's easier to use close or long range. I personally like it best with either a red dot or a 4x scope. Although an 8x scope is definitely not bad on this weapon. Uh, the bullet drop does not seem to be too severe. A bullet drop is a thing in this game if you didn't already know. Um, but the bullet drop doesn't seem to be too severe or too unpredictable. Nothing like the VSS or anything like that. And um, it's just overall easy to use. Now as for the attachment slots that this gun can hold, it can hold a total of four attachments. Uh, optic scope, a, noz uh, a muzzle, so you can either have a suppressor or a flash hider compensator or whatever. It can have an angled grip or a vertical grip. And it can have obviously a quick draw or extended or extended quick draw mag. So a total of four attachments. Um, I personally like to rock it with the vertical, not the vertical, the angled grip, the suppressor if you're lucky enough to find one, the extended quick draw, and the four time scope. But that's for long range combat. If I have to do some close range combat, I like to throw the red dot on there and keep it full auto mode. So that way when I ADS, I can get a kill pretty easily just by, you know, aiming down sights and spraying, spraying at them pretty much. Um, but if you can't find a suppressor, a compensator, or a flash hider, will do you just fine. Honestly, the attachments in this game, in my experience, don't seem to make that much of a difference. Aside from the suppressor, just because it gives you that extra stealthiness, which is so, so crucial in this game, that I would recommend a suppressor on any gun if you could um, find one, if you're lucky enough. But that's pretty much going to cover it for this episode. This episode was more, mainly just for the gun itself and, you know, giving you the stats on it, uh, my opinion and recommendations on it. So stay tuned for the next video. We're going to be talking about different things such as weapons, uh, scopes, strategies, and just different things that may affect you in the game. All right. So if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button. I'd appreciate that. And subscribe for the future videos. But for now... 
that's going to wrap it up. Once again, this is Prodigy. Thanks for listening.